Hello, you are welcome to Fumigation Talks. My name is Godfrey. Today we are going to be talking about how we can get rid of weevil from our home. One of the viewers of this program this chatted me up on uh, Facebook, told me that he built a house in the last three years and after building it, he discovered some dusty particles falling out from the wound and actually when he looked at it, he discovered it was weevil weevil was eating up the wound that is quite expensive to replace if uh, weevil keep on eating it like this so he asked he, he asked me what he, he has to he have to do to get rid of them of which i'm going to explain in this program on what you need to do and how you can get rid of, of a weevil from your furnitures, from your uh, ceiling and other places. So what do you do? But what I want to make you to understand is the chemical I'm about to explain now may look more toxic because uh, it's not as simple as others but more toxic. It's very difficult to get rid of weevil from your wound. So there are chemicals you apply that will preserve your wound for you. So how do you get rid of weevil from your home and furnitures? What you need to do is you provide a chemical that contains DDVP. Then also you provide another chemical that contain, contains um, chlorophyrifos. Then after you've done this, get kerosene. 10 liters of kerosene. Then, before you start using them, make sure you have the clothes to cover the entire body. Make sure no part of your body is exposed and have your nose mask and your hand glove ready. Then, take this DDVP about 1 liter of DDVP, pour it into your 10 liters of kerosene. Take another one, which is chlorophyrifos, 500 uh, ml. Pour it into your kerosene as well. Then shake it. You can take a, a stick and turn it very well. Make sure it is well mixed. Uh, so after you've done that, uh, then carry your spray machine go to your roof if it's your roof pour the chemical directly on the wound directly on the wound pour it directly yes if it's your furniture pour it directly on your furniture that is the wound and uh, pour it very well make sure you pour it very well just spray it on there you will just you on your own you see the weevil coming out and say that they'll be dying. Yes. So after you've done this, I assure you, you will not see any weevil because now what you just done is you preserve your wound by spraying the chemical the chemicals on the wound. So uh, by the time you've done it, you I believe you can contact me on uh, Facebook. You can chat me up to tell me your uh, your observation. So. We can next time we're going to meet to discuss more on fumigation talks thank you for listening to me bye